welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Trevor Lawrence. We have got the launch party for you. It's always uh, a great show. Every week we bring it to you, but this week it's either, it's next level. We are, you know, it's it's packed full of amazing stuff that we're really, really excited about. I say we're really excited about. One of the reasons it's so amazing is because Leanne's here. Leanne, how are you? Oh my word, I'm so excited to be here. I actually don't think I've been on a launch party since the very first one that we did, Joe, so I'm beyond excited to be here. Um, and we've got some truly ridiculous things for you. It's fabulous. Mm, it's going to be an amazing uh, show. Uh, a lot of you are uh, shopping ahead uh, and there's loads of things coming up in the show. Loads of new stuff, loads of new deals. I've got an out of this world deal for you. I've got uh, an explorer's deal as well. There's so many wonderful things. Leanne, what are you most looking forward to in the show today? Oh, well, all of the things that we've got to show are fabulous. And these brand new shadow alphabet dies that we've got are off the chart amazing. So you can do cards like this, but look, pieces of home decor like this, which look like it's just come out of House of Fraser or somewhere mm. like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, House of Fraser would be similar to Macy's or Bloomingdale's for you people over the other side of the pond. We've got this amazing new layering stencil technology, which is going to allow you to create incredible samples like this. We've got our background layering stamps which give you the ability to create your own customised coloured scrapbook papers. But oh my word, Joe, the thing that I am beyond excited about, that I can hardly contain myself about, is the fact that we've got our magnetic plant, plant form. What's plant form? Our magnetic <laughs> platform and uh, the magnetic base and the stamping platform for you at a ridiculously good price in this launch party. And if you haven't seen this used, wait till you see. I would say don't wait because I know there's, a, there's an infinite number. And then once they've gone, they've gone, that number. So if you are excited about being able to stamp precisely every time with no effort whatsoever, your layering stamps perfect every time, get this now and wait till I show you because it's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely, you do get it now. $24.99, should be uh, $39.99 or $28. Uh, if you've already got the 8x8 eight eight and you want just the magnetic base on its own, we've got that on the show for you today as well. $13.50, whether you're in the UK or the US. So options, if you've got, you haven't got the 8x8 eight eight yet, get them both together for that great price of $24.99 or $28. Or you no, that one, there we go. <laughs> or you can get the magnetic base on its own for £13.50 or $13.50. Now, let's start with the out of this world. I need to get Leanne to do it. Yeah, you need training on that pet. Go on, um, give us a Out first. of this world deal. Out of this world, dear. Oh, so much better. Much, Thank you, darling. Much Gorgeous. better. <laughs> Okie doke. Let me just show you what we've got now. You know how usually we reserve the double-sided Centura Pearl for Sarah's cartload shows? Not today. Da -da. We've got some for you. And I mean, this stuff, I kid you not, is like gold dust uh, here at Crafts Companion. We just don't bring it to you anywhere near as much as we would like. So what you've got here is you've got... Uh, this in the fresh white, you've got 40 double sided sheets of the fresh white, which is that one there. And you've got 40 double sided sheets of the ivory as well. And there's loads that you're going to be able to do with this. Um, Centura Pearl is just so gorgeous. When we look at the double sided, it just doesn't ever last. I know that is going to be exceptionally busy uh, today. Um, just to give you an idea, if you went for them on their own individually, it should be 11 99 individually, however, two for 15 pounds today. So it is phenomenal uh, value there. Now, the background rotating stamps. Of course, these are going to work beautifully with your um, platform and your magnetic base. So you've got uh, four different options here uh, with these ones. And what's great is you basically ink and rotate and then you get a different uh, sort of effect. So you are in charge of how um, full you make uh, that um, stamped image that you've got there. So this one is Spring Has Sprung. This one here that we're looking at is uh, Buds and Blooms. This one here is Natural Beauty, just like me. Yes, I think you'll find. Uh, and then this one that we've got 
is the uh, flutter by wishes. So you've there your four different options uh, that you've got to go for these. But you've got a few different options about how you get them as well. Get them all is going to be the best value. It's always going to be the best value to go for the larger collection. And we've made it really affordable for you today. £25 or $31 to get them all. Or you can go for two for two for thirteen fifty or sixteen fifty if you're in the US. So it's completely up to you how you get them. Um, but however you get them, make sure you do. Now talking of fabulous deal, something that's always so busy when we just bring it to you on its own is the Gemini Mini. Now it's such a little powerhouse. It's gonna work beautifully with something I'm gonna share with you in just a minute as well. So this is not just the Gemini Mini that you're getting though, you're getting the Gemini Mini. You're also gonna get some bits to start you off. So you've got a Garden Friends die here, and you've got the polka dot hearts. Now that would be really good just to get those two, but this is, a, this is an explorer's deal. We want you to try something new. So we've really outdone ourselves, and we're gonna give you the bag as well. So the bag that it, uh, will be able to store your mini in here, you'll be able to put your plates in there, some dies in there as well. You're saving 30% here, £35 if you're in the UK, $50 for that if you are in the US. Now, one of our fa one of my favourite die sets that we've bought, I think I'm going to say, you know, it is, I think it might be, might be my favourite die set that we do. I think there's so much that you can do with these. And what I love about them is they are so modern as well. So this is what you've got here. So you've got your alphabet uh, within the main collection as well, 75 pounds. So you've also got uh, all of your numbers and you've got your ampersand in there as well. But you get this wonderful, beautiful uh, shaded effect there. Also, you can then use the negative as well, the part that you've cut out uh, to create a different effect but uh, go for you can get six for about 12.50 or just get them all together uh, which is the best way of course to get the best value uh, and you can see uh, there's just so much that you can do with these which is really really uh, is really exciting now make sure you get in touch any questions that you've got with us maybe you want to share with us what you've been working on uh, this week what you've been crafting then you can do that by emailing us at studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. I'm just going to drop into the comments, see who is here. No doubt, loads of familiar faces. Cindy, I can see Evelyn's here. Uh, Michael is here from uh, Sunny Gateshead. Oh, just down the road. Um, I can see Monica in De Detroit. Marcy in Palm Scr Springs. Beth is here in North Dakota uh, as well. Uh, make sure you get uh, your emails in, comment along, any questions at all uh, that you have got, get them into me and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget as well about uh, the deal on the uh, luxury card stock that we've got too. Now, there's uh, some options. I've just got uh, a couple here for you. So this is the um, precious metals that we've got. You've got the glitter, which is amazing. You've got the self-adhesive glitter. You've got the matte mirror and you've got the mirror card there in an array of different colours. There's precious metals, you've got the carnival, uh, which is this one here. These are always very popular when we bring them to you. Four for 30 pounds is great. You can see you've got 40 uh, sheets. Is the carnival sold out? Oh, it sold out in the past. It did, yes. So last time we bought it to you, uh, it sold out. You've also then got purple, ice blue, gold and silver. You have other options if you want to go for that. Now, if you want to watch and shop at the same time, it's very easy to do so. You can do that over on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, .com or .eu. Details are there for you uh, along the bottom of the screen. Right, I'm going to hand you over to Leanne uh, and she's going to take us through uh, the Shadow Alphabet die collection. Jo, these are fantastic. I'm so happy that you love them as much as me. I truly adore these alphabets, these Shadow Alphabets. They're going to make customization um set putting your own messages home decor if you can see this bunting behind me here this is all done without shadow alphabets might whip it down off the shelf and show you later it's fantastic um but they're really easy to use now the size of them and i've just been um grabbing a couple of packets here while and i've got mine a box fresh look i'm opening them up brand new so this is the experience you're going to have uh, when you get these home um and i'm just going to use my little scissors to help me get in because we do seal them up really really well just to help me get a little starter for 10 on that so I can get it open. Um, these are incredibly usable and they will work 
in your Gemini, in your Junior and in your Mini, depending on the size of the project that you want to work on and depending on the positioning. Because these dies cut in, they don't cut out. So they're going to cut in the detail to whatever size piece of card you've decided to work on. So that could be a small piece to create your toppers or it could be, um, would have been more helpful if I'd done this before we started chatting, doesn't, wouldn't it? No, notice I was having a good old chin wag with you there because I was distracting you while I got my packets open. There we go. Could be a massive piece. Um, on your Gemini plate, 9 by 12 if you want to do a really big statement card, which I'll show you in a second. Could be a little small piece if that's what you want to do. If you just want to do them with your Gemini Mini. And it can be on your Junior if it's on a different card. So I'm going to show you on the Mini because actually we've got this little guy coming up later in the show. Um, and it's a really, really good deal that we've got. So I thought, well, let's just have a little preview of that before we get started. So I've got my Gemini Mini here. And I've got my two dies. I've got the L and the E that I've just taken out of the packaging there. So you can see I've got the L and the E. There we go. And I'm just going to start by cutting it out. So what I've got is just a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to cut the L in here uh, and you're going to see how incredibly easy this is. So I've got my piece of card and what I am going to do is get a piece of repositionable tape because it's a good idea to keep it still, especially when you're doing a concept card with uh, positioning and you want it to be in the exact place. So I want this nice and central in that piece of white card there for the project that I'm making, which you can see just above here. This is what we're going to be making. So what I'm going to do is reposition my tape into the bit that comes out. So actually I'm sticking it over the L, over the center of the L there and not on the piece where um, I'm going to be putting it on my card just in case I take the surface off. You just be careful when you're removing your double sided tape, but you can see I've managed to keep that still. I'm then just popping it in my mini folder and then I'm going to take it through. So really quick and easy, you see the whiz is through there. If I remove my double-sided, sorry, my double-sided, my repositionable tape, there we go. Die comes away really easily. That's your bit that comes out. These are your little waste pieces here. Um, and all you do is give them a little pop look and they come away no problem at all. It's just the surrounding cardstock that's holding onto them. And that creates your shadow alphabet for you that easily. That could not be more easy if you tried, could it? And in fact, it's that easy. I'm going to show you again with the letter E. Now, this time with the letter E, just to show you the difference, I've got a lovely piece of our double-sided Centura pearl there. So if you're looking at the double-sided Centura, now I need to get this the right way around. There, that's it. That's where I need to see it. E, I was thinking, which way around is a number? I nearly had, had it as a number three there rather than the letter E. Uh, put my repositionable tape on again. So these will work brilliantly with your double-sided Centura if you're um, shopping ahead and getting that because it really does give that lovely glimmer and highlight to it. Um, when you can see that on there. So you see I remove that, falls away really. Oh, look, I don't even have to do any poking out. Look, all of the bits have come out. Let me just show you that on there. There is my letter E all of the bits have all come out and you can see that lovely shadow is in the perfect place. So that's how easily they cut out. Could not be more simple if you tried. Let me move that to the side because I'm just going to show you how I would put my little card together. So I've got my card base here and this is a six uh, and a half, six and three quarter inch card base. Um, so remember if you are making custom side card bases, what do you need? We had a little look at it last night, didn't we? We had a chat about it. So if you're making a six and a three quarter card base like I'm making here, you need to get your Envella box creator that we had a look at last night. And if you didn't and you're thinking, oh, I want to make a custom card like that, you can still go and shop and get that. Uh, no problem at all. I'm then going to pop this in place with my um, glue gel because I want it to be a little bit raised. So I'm just putting some little bits of glue gel on the back. I've got my letter L here. So you see I've cut my L out and I've just matted it onto some uh, red glitter card. And then I've got the red glitter card and the matte mirror behind there. So I've got my L. I've got my O. I've got, I feel like cheerleader. I've got my V. Have you got your pom-poms, Joe? We're cheerleading. I've got my V and I'm gonna give you an E as well. 
Joe's actually busy doing handstands. He's standing on his head um, as we're cheerleading. And I'm sure we'll show you that later uh, because it's impressive. It's impressive. Joe's cheerleading handstands and cartwheels at the other end of the studio. <laughs> Uh, oh, and you see, bet. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've never seen a one as efficient, I have to say. Then I've just used a little nesting heart die set that I've got there um, just to pop in the centre. That's how quick and easy it is to make a little card. Now, just before we move on, I've got some samples I want to show you. Oh, sorry, just leaning my leaving my grey roots um, in the camera there. I do apologise. I do need to do something about those grey roots, but we can't do anything about it at the minute. I've got three pieces of cardstock here, and I just want to show you something nifty and different that you could do with these. So I'm just going to use the, um, should I use the L or the E again? Let's do the, take the double-sided thing off, take that off there, poke the little piece down. I've just put my pokey tool down again. Honestly, do you do this at home? Put it, there it is. I always put my pokey tool down and can't remember where the dickens I've put it, always. Um, you've got your little release holes at the back here. And just before I cut it again, you'd probably get two or three cuts, to be honest. But just before I cut it again, because I want those little piercing shadows to be perfect, I like to clean the die and just get the bits out. Okay, so I've got my Gemini Mini coming back in. This is my piece that I'm going to do my matting and layering on. I've got my shiny mirror card there. And then here I've got my piece of double-sided Centura Pearl. Okay, and I've got it in a lovely cream colour. So I've got that cut to size. You can see it's going in my mini folder. And that's a good size piece of square that you can get um, with your mini because it's got that three by six plate size. You can get some good positioning and some good size cards from it, especially when you're using um, your shadow alphabets like this. So you don't need your bigger machines and you don't need to be switching on the electronic machine because your Gemini mini will do the work for you. So I'm going to cut my shadow E out of there exactly as I did before when I was doing my love card. Just wind that through the mini. Uh, loads of you watching, uh, commenting along, saying hi, letting us know uh, where you're joining us uh, from. Uh, Cindy agrees that I am a natural beauty. Thank you, Cindy. I'll pay you later. Uh, but any questions that you've got, get them in. Uh, how are you going to use these dies when you get them home? I'd love to hear uh, your ideas for what you're going to do with them. Because I think they're just a die set, Leanne, aren't they? That the more you play with them, the more sort of ways you'll come up with to use these. A hundred percent, Joe. And I've got some really good examples. After I've done this, I've got some really good examples show you the different things you can do i mean for example for me if you're uh, making wedding stationery i would be getting these and i'd be customizing the meal plan i'd be doing the um i'd be doing the wedding invites with the uh, bride and groom's initials on i'd be doing my rsvp i'd be having it on my save the date i'd be just putting the bride and groom's initials on everything with mm. these on the bunting for the decoration which you can see behind me here which will grab it looks absolutely gorgeous um so yes i think there's lots and lots of different uses joe um and it's about gift boxes christmas um making gift boxes and in the top of the in the top of the gift box putting the initials of the person you're sending it to or gift tags in fact actually and then you don't have to try and remember who each of the presents are for um because i'm terrible for that because you've actually put their name on it um so yes i think there's so many different things and i'm going to show you in a sec now what i've done there you see when you cut out your um alphabet you leave perfect letters behind this is your waste don't throw any of those away because you're going to be able to use those in other cards and spell, that's a twofer, and spell words again when you're not using this. I'm just going to run this E through my um, glitter card here because I want to show you what I'm doing. This is about doing lots of different layering with different mediums that you're using, Joe. Um, and I think it looks really fabulous because on this one here, I've used a piece of the rose gold shiny mirror. I've got a piece of my double-sided Centura Pearl there. I've cut this again on this beautiful glitter card. So I've got that lovely silhouette um, in glitter card. And then what you would go and do is poke all of these out again. Um, oh, and I'm just brand new news. I didn't know that, Joe. Oh, you're yeah. Get, yeah, you're getting your dotty tape pen. Absolutely. You can oh, never have enough of those. You can't have enough dotty tape pens in your life. Oh, they're fantastic. They change your detailed die cut and the revolute, they change your life forever uh, when you get one of those and just make things that used to be really frustrating and difficult before. Um, and maybe things you would avoid doing with detailed dies in terms of sticking them down, uh, they make it achievable and easy so you don't have to be scared of it or avoid it anymore. Right, so, see, I've just poked my little pieces out there. I've got two more. They're just hanging on there, like, 
Look, get off. That's it. It's the glitter film that likes to hang on um, rather than the thing. So I've got those all off. That's lovely. And then if I just hold that over a piece of white card, you can see there you've got that lovely shadow with the glitter. But actually, with the glitter, is glitter the same as glitter, do we think? Is what um, the same? Glitter. Glitter? Yeah, uh, that was a nice glitter That's a Spanish card. way. It's a Spanish it, word for uh, glitter, isn't uh, it? A glitter card. Yeah. <laughs> Does what it is. Yes. Was that Spanish? I don't know. I'm not sure what and that I, was. I don't know what it was. But <laughs> anyway, what I really wanted was my waist, my little bit that popped out. Um, and I'm going to use my 3D glue gel now when I find it again. Because what I'm going to do is offset that and stand it up proud in that space that I've cut from the Century Repel below. And so what you'll get is you'll get the shine of the mirror card, matte and layer, the shine of the mirror card coming through the shadow, and then you will get the beautiful centura and then the offset little oh, glittered E. So what you've got E, is that's your, lovely, E, that. by gumpesh, <laughs> that's gorgeous. E, I'll go at the foot of our stairs, that's what I'll do. <laughs> um, so you've got your lovely rose gold matte uh, layer there. Then you've got your bit of centura and you've got your little shadow shining through with your mirror card and then the waist from the piece of glitter card I've just 3D'd up there and that stands out. Isn't that really lovely? So you can do lots of different techniques and lots of different little bits of layering and actually all of your scraps that you've got in your scrap box because we've got loads of them start raiding your scrap box and getting all of the bits out and practicing and just using them with your letter cards like this now before we go anywhere i have to show you some examples of um you know what i did wrong with that glue there because i just had sarah shouting in my ear well not really but i can remember so she came in to do a show the other week and the glue wasn't right and she said hey that must have been me and do you know what she took one for the tea next it was me i didn't put my glue away properly so <laughs> when you're putting your glue away you've got to leave a little bit out can you see leave a little bit popping out there there you go and then you put your top on and that seals it and stops it going hard in the tube uh so i'm sorry sarah that was me right um yeah i like to admit when it was me that was wrong do you know what i mean because i thought e bless her she's saying it was her i mean usually it is her she's right but it was me on that occasion so here you can see we've used the alphabet to spell somebody's name so customization for person personalization is huge still isn't it Joan it's not going anywhere mm. um, and we've done it in the same color paper so it just looks like it's popping off with that lovely 3d effect on there really impressive and then here for all of the um the cool kids on the block we've just got an I love you uh, which is great here we've got using some of our other fancy fonts which looks amazing and then all the little B stamps and what have you've got be happy so you can even start to create your own sentiments on there if you want to. This is what I was talking about. This is on the Gemini using the numbers. I think you get the numbers too, don't you, Joe? You do. So using the Gemini with a big plate and a big piece of black card with a glitter behind there. Look how we've just multiple cut the 21 to make our own custom background and then say who is 21 on a panel on the front. I think that's fantastic. Um, here we've got the celebration of a little baby girl. And we've done here the technique I've just shown you with my rose gold there. So we've got paper in the background shining through the shadow, different paper lifted up with some 3D. Uh, this one's for all the cool kids too. This is a happy birthday to you, HB to you. HB to you, C3 Pure, R2D2. Uh, uh, I'm not down with the kids. And then we've got a dad, um, a dad on there. Here, shake a card. Look, so you can cut in those sentiments all the way along with your Gemini as you've got there. Put some acetate behind the back, lift it up with your foam tape, put in your little sequins, shake a card, fantastic. Um, this one, just 18. I mean, finding uh, cards that are classy for young people or, you know, not too twee when you're 18 and a, and a male can be difficult. That's absolutely perfect because you've got your numbers for that. And then this is great. I love it. I thought this was really clever. Cutting all the numbers, one through nine, putting a different colour behind the number of the oh, birthday yeah. that you're celebrating. Mm. This could be anniversary, could be for a younger person. I really love that. And then, of course, there's that amazing bunting behind me which i absolutely adore says mr and mrs 
and I think that for me is the key Joe. it's about home decor it's about gift boxes it's about different techniques it's about customization personalization with a gorgeous font looks really cool but incredibly classy and stylish it's one of those things that you're going to buy now and still be using it in 20 years time because it hasn't gone out of fashion and it's incredibly usable yeah absolutely as you said you know personalization means extra pennies especially if you're making uh, your projects to sell uh, a couple of different ways of getting these 75 pounds gets you everything which i know you'll all want to go for because that gives you the most amount of options you know, there's nothing really you can't do with that all the numbers the ampersand and also the dotty tape pen included in there as well or you can go for six uh, for 12.50 if you want to get them that way it, it is completely up to you we're having a very busy show as i knew we would what is an eclipse card leah an eclipse card yeah. is where you've got, um, so you know when you do your stamping, so let's say you've got a black and white stamped image of a floral, mm. let's say it's some roses and a vase, and then a two inch circle of that would be cut out and then coloured and then put back on the image so it looks like the rest of the image is eclipsed and you've just got like a spotlight on this little ah. bit here that's colored. It was Gwen actually who said about doing eclipse cards with these. I'd never mm. never heard of an eclipse card before. Lots of you talking about what you're going to do with them. Great for, for masculine cards. Uh, Christine saying thanks for the tip about the glue. Um, loads of you saying hi. Uh, Gail saying she's ordered these quickly before they sold out. Uh, Kirsten getting herself st stocked up on tape pens. Uh, loads of you um, saying hi from absolutely every Everywhere. Now, whilst Facebook is the best place to join the conversation, we love you doing that over on our Crafters TV Facebook page, uh, the best place, of course, to watch a shop at the same time. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Here's some handsome chap that's going to. Plot twist, it's me. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Oh, uh, all the details there. I've no idea who that bloke was. Uh, all the details there of uh, um, how you can watch and shop at the same time. Get us on the big telly as well. If you watch us on YouTube uh, and also through the uh, website, you can get us on the big TV. I want to give you the details of um, Crafters Inspiration 26. It launched just last week. It's very, very busy on the website. I'm not going to go for it. Oh, have you seen how many papers you get in this? One? Yeah. Oh, oh. And uh, jo Joel, have a sniff of them. Oh, that smells like good paper, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, Crafters Inspiration 26 uh, is what we're looking at here. And you can see, I'm not going to go for it. I don't want to spoil it too much, but of course, you know the drill with this. £50 uh, worth of crafting goodies coming your way at a great price. Now, this deal that you're looking at here, not only are you going to get the magazine, not only are you going to get all of these beautiful papers and they're uncoated and they're great for <laughs> Wonderful scrapbooking. I've got them upside down. There you are. Uh, you've got all of that coming your way. You also get as well da, 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 this beautiful die, which is lovely. It's kind of a, um, oh, it's almost like a, it's a peony frame. It's like a postcard size creator card almost, which is lovely. And you get an embossing folder in there as well. So fantastic value. Whereas with this deal, oh, there's more. Hang on, I'm trying to shortchange you. I was hoping to keep this bit for myself. Uh, you've also got uh, some lovely stamps within there too. Now this deal that you're looking at, you can actually get, I've got so much stuff I can't put it all down on the table. Uh, you're actually getting, really, Crafters Inspiration for free because uh, 19.99 is what you should be paying for the birthday party stamp and die. And this is all about you using your photos to create something fabulous. Now, that's the cost of that. You get the brand new Crafters Inspiration thrown in for free, pretty much. Now, if you want to go for if you want to go for the magazine on its own, uh, we can do it as well. And excitingly, for the first time ever, you could order it right now. 
and we could give it to you immediately. I know you're thinking teleportation and witchcraft, aren't you? No, so something exciting is we've made Crafters Inspiration available on digital download. So don't worry, all of the great stuff, all of the bits still, you still get that, we send it to you separately, but the actual magazine, uh, you download it, you can watch it immediately. Uh, I keep saying you can watch it, what is wrong? You, can you see I don't read very much and the concept of reading something is, is odd for me. You can read it on your tablet, on your phone, on your computer but you can have it immediately and also you can keep them as a big sort of library as you collect them and they don't take up any space which is wonderful seven pounds 95 if you want to go for that now let's move this crafters inspiration out of the way and let me show you uh oh i've got see how many see how many goodies i've got stuffed onto my table today i've got a i've got a job to uh, move anything around we're going to look now at the explorers um kit and the thing is about an explorer's kit what it is it's about you exploring something new so maybe a new type of crafting maybe a new area of crafting that you already do this is the gemini mini that we've got for you now the mini on its own should be 29.99 bear that in mind when i tell you what you're getting included so with the mini you're going to get the mini itself and i know it is small in size but it is mighty in power let me tell you uh, there's loads that you're going to be able to do with this you're going to get as well your purple shims and your folders included as well so rather than having plates with this machine you have a, a, f a folder that you pop everything through and run it through so you get that you get your instruction booklet of course included as well now because it's your explorer deal we want to do something fabulous we're going to give you an embossing folder so you're going to get this beautiful embossing folder just here you're also going to get garden friends these wonderful dies too so we're going to include both of those so we're way over 35 pounds worth of value or 50 dollars worth of value now but we still make it even better because we're then going to give you included the bag the gemini mini bag a little carry case for you and this is great because in here you can get uh, your machine itself let's pop it all in it's not like me to be tidy usually but let's have a go uh, in here we're going to be able to put our um our little shim and our folders in there. In fact, we can even get our embossing folder and our dies in there. So you're gonna be able to be crafting absolutely anywhere that you want to go. Uh, 35 pounds. This, when we first bought the mini to you, uh, in the US, in the UK, here at Crafters TV, it sold out in record time. And we waited a really long time uh, to get it back in stock. So if you are one of the hundreds, if not thousands of people that have been waiting for this to come back in stock, now is a great time uh, to get this in your basket. Liam, the mini, because I know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I looked at it and thought, why would I need it? That was genuinely what I thought until, I've seen it in use and I'm like, wow, that is a fabulous machine. I think the thing about the Mini is it's quick, easy, accessible, reliable crafting. It's about instant gratification. It's about the jobs that you want to do quickly and efficiently where you don't necessarily want to get out your big machine. It, this is the thing that I have on my glass mat, on my craft mat at home constantly. And for all of my little crafty jobs, this is the guy that I use more than anything else um, just for little sentiments for little embossed pieces for little embellishments because for all it's mini it's mighty jaw you've still got phenomenal pressure in here and phenomenal results and i'm going to show you that with all of the um, different little things i've got for you to use here but also actually if you're a new crafter and you look at some of um, our electronic machines you can see here i've got my junior and my gemini and you're thinking do you know what i'm not quite ready to invest in an electronic machine just yet i want to know if die cutting's for me and if i actually enjoy it and i want to do it and if it's something that i would then want to invest in later as i want a bigger more powerful machine to do much more larger concepts and open up a whole plethora of dies that aren't available to me in a smaller machine it gets you started so for me it's a great gift as well for maybe new or novice crafters who've been looking and thinking they want to try but haven't been brave enough yet and actually for us die in the water being crafting most of their life crafters it's just fantastic reliability convenience desktop instant gratification crafting what do i mean by that now did you have a look there because i wasn't really listening i'm sorry uh, did you have a look at all of the contents, the things that you're getting? So you know you're getting your dies and your little folder and your plates and you know you've got your little gorgeous bag here. 
you know all of that so i don't need to bore you with that then that's great so here's the mini and let's have a look start having a look at some of the things it can do now first things first we're just going to have a look at what this fab little polka dot folder looks like when we emboss it this is the one that's coming in with your explorer deal and this is a great little deal because you've got the machine you've got all of the plates you've got a folder and you've got a little die set there that you can use sorry i need my handle on my right hand side that you can use to start oh see look did you see what happened there with my 2d folder look what happened well, that's not going to emboss much, is it? That's because you also get this little purple plate. And when you're doing your 2D folder, you need to put that in at the same time. And that's what gives you the tension to wind it through. Now, why I hear you ask me you need that? Well, that's because our small folder-based manual machine has so much pressure um, and so much fabulousness to it that it can also do the 3D folders look at that on that gold cardstock it looks absolutely gorgeous doesn't it it looks amazing and that's on your mirror card i want to show you the same beautiful little polka dot heart folder on some of that lovely double-sided centura pearl that we've also got isn't that out of is that our out of the it's the out of this world oh, deal I just need to keep saying that because I love this. I love saying it. Um, so you're going to be sick of it by the time we're done with launch party. But there we go. Look on the double-sided centura. Look how fabulous that polka dot heart looks. You can see there, and it catches the light. Absolutely glorious. So that's the little folder that comes in with your deal. I thought you might actually like to see the little set of dies as well. And then we're going to have a look at some other things we can do. So for my little set of dies, what I've got is um let me just show you i've got a ladybird a dragonfly and a butterfly now we all need a ladybird a dragonfly and a butterfly um that's like a tongue twister isn't it on on for our cards for little embellishments so you could not get a more perfect little set so what i'm going to do is take off the base of my little ladybird there and then i'm also going to take off the top of my ladybird i'm going to get myself a little piece of black card stock here and I'm going to cut my ladybird bottom, my ladybird base. You what now? Sorry? Your ladybird my bottom. ladybird bottom. I've got a ladybird bottom, didn't you know, <laughs> darling? Yes, it's very ladybird my bottom, which means it's round. <laughs> um, round and spotty. Uh, oh. Oh, I don't oh. know about that, but that's what a ladybird bottom would be, wouldn't it? Hmm. Mm. Maybe we'll not talk about that then. <laughs> Maybe we'll not talk about maybe that. Maybe get some cream for that. Yeah, maybe we'll get some cream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I might, maybe I'll order that online and get that delivered. Yeah, <laughs> that'll um, come sometime in June. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, it'll be. It won't be spotty. It'll be boiled. Anyway, too much information. Too much. Well, we'll just stop this stuff conversation right now before it all goes the wrong way. So I've got my ladybird bottom in there, and I'm going to do that from black. And then I've got my ladybird top in here, and we're going to do that in red. I'm putting them both in my Gemini mini folder at the same time and then I'm just going to push this through wind it through so you can see really easy to do oh I'm going to show you something as well about that in a second so here's my two little bottoms that have been cut for my ladybirds and it's cut me two ladybirds and you've got two on the same die so for all we've only got one ladybird on the package and you have in fact got two ladybirds inside so you've got an extra die in there that you weren't expecting to get there's my pieces to create my embellishment I want to put them back on here because um when you've got your little dies, always put them back on the carrier sheet. Or if you've got a magnetic folder, a sheet with a folder in, always put them back on there. And then I'm going to get my dotty tape pen, Jo. Uh, you definitely need your dotty one for this. And I've got my little open wings on this ladybird here. And look, I just layer that up and stick that in place. You might need your tweezers to hold it still. There you go, look. And look at that gorgeous little lid. I'm going to bring it up so you can see. Look at this cute. Look at that little ladybird embellishment How you can create. That? Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a twofer because look, I've got this other one here that was cut at the same time. So I've got, I've got me and my friends who like to run. Uh, I've got me crochet on the couch, my friends jogging around the park. Um, so you've got a nice little... Oh. Closed wing Apparently and I'm an open wing. Apparently, I'm going on a run tonight. Are you joking? Uh, Do you want to go to, on a run tonight? Well, producer Laura's staying at the house, and I foolishly earlier said, "Oh, maybe we could uh, 
you know, maybe we could go for a, a run together. And she was like, yeah, expecting her to go, no, let's have wine. And she said, yes. And now I feel like it was a, a verbally binding oh, contract. That's, when it, co that's when it comes back to bite you on the bottom, doesn't it, when that happens? On, on your ladybird lady bird bottom. bottom. That's <laughs> when that comes back and bites you on your ladybird bottom. <laughs> oh, don't forget, um, you're getting all of that included as yeah. well, which is you're getting a lot out of the box now, aren't you, Leanne? Mm, you really are. And with this particular little die set, the easiness of how it was to create that little ladybird, exactly the same for your dragonfly and exactly the same for your butterfly. And you've got perfect little embellishments there. If you went for your... Um, Alphabet, you could make little ladybird funny sentiments and put the little ladybirds all around the alphabet, the shadow alphabet, it would look lovely. Even of the course. little butterflies. Um, and don't uh, forget your shadow alphabet to go through your mini as well, Joe. Cindy is asking, could you mm -hmm. use the mini um, folder in mm -hmm. the go? The mini folder in the go. Yes, of yeah. course. They're three by six. So anything that you have that works with the go and anything that you have that works with the mini will work across. Because the only difference is one's an electronic and one's manual. The plate size is three by six, exactly the same for both. So you're wonderful. fine with that. Yeah, fine. Absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to grab another piece of this mirror card from down here because I've got something else I want to show you. Oh. I know. Don't forget, can I remind you quickly about the... How, can you do the can you do the sound effect for me? I can. Out of this world deal. Absolutely. So it's the double-sided Centura Pearl. It's absolutely gorgeous. We very rarely bring you the double-sided Centura. So to be able to get this uh, and to be able to get it on an out of this world deal, it's quite frankly out of this world. You've got 40 sheets of the ivory, uh, which is fantastic. And then we've also got for you uh, 40 sheets of the white as well. So you're going to get both of those for £15 if you're in the UK. Uh, if you're in the US, um, I'll just double check the price for you. But yeah, £15 in the UK. If you're in the US, let me double check. See, the uh, US prices, they always get me, you see, Leanne. I'll be good when I go on holiday, though. You know, when I finally do go to America next year, I'll be, I know about conversions, very easy. $22 uh, if you are in the US, which is a fantastic price. Now then, I've just got a couple of my lovely, small uh, little sentiment folders that we have here. And I'm sure these are still on the website. We did these with the mini a while ago, so you could always have a look at them there. So you see, I've got a piece of mirror card and then my family embossing folder here. And look, it, oh, see, look, I did it again. Look, I did it again. Always remember to pick up your fab little mini conversion plate. And then we're going to pop that through. And you just pop it on top and it goes through. So even if your folder's smaller, it will still go through and then look, that says family. Look at the quality of that there, Joe, uh, with that sentiment. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, it looks absolutely uh, beautiful. Um, now, uh, the rotation stamps are getting really, really busy. Uh, so I can't wait to take you through those. I just want to uh, recap the details firstly for the Explorer deal. So remember that you're getting the Gemini Mini, you're getting the bag, you're getting the, uh, the shim and the folder as you nor would normally, and you're getting the die and the embossing folder as well. £35 if you're in the UK, $50 if you are in the US, which is fantastic. Uh, okay, I need to remind you of the uh, alphabets that we've got for you on the show. Uh, really busy here, loads of uh, different ways of you getting these. As always though, the best way to get the best value is to go for that whole collection. It gives you all of the alphabet, it gives you the numbers, and it gives you uh, the ampersand as well. So you're getting absolutely uh, everything included there. And that's great. I think if you um, if you make uh, to sell as well, you're gonna love this because of course you can uh, add initials, you can add, add whole names. Uh, it's completely up to you. If we were doing something, Leanne, uh, question. If we were doing something with, uh, I don't know, let's say the name Tammy, uh, for instance, rather than cutting it all once at the same time, is it quite easy to double up the M and move the M along? Have you got any tips for that? I just like to have a very fine pencil line, Joe, actually. So, it, for example, myself, Leanne, with two ends, what I would do is cut the, um, the Leanne and have a fine pencil line to line it up along. But actually, I would cut the last N before I cut the, the one and beside okay. it. And then what I do is I get them all lined up and I leave myself the perfect space and then to get it in the middle and then what you don't end is with your end squashed up at the end or too far away where you can space them out so if you have got doubled up letters in the middle i would say leave the middle letter to last and then you've got more chance to position so it doesn't look odd or off and have a nice pencil line on there which can be rubbed away 
Fantastic. Uh, so that's a, a great way to get around that. So just every, you can do every single uh, name that you want, really, when you're and all the different ages uh, as well. So that's really fantastic. Um, now, Leanne, that's not you've got more to show. So the mini oh, is never ending. It's never ending with this mini. There's so many different things you can do. So you've seen me do this fabulous little sentiment, which looked lovely on our mirror card, um, and you've seen me do some embossing. Oh, here it is. Here again. There you look. Look how family and deep. How family. Look how family that is. Uh, look how deep the embossing on the word family <laughs> is there. And then I wanted to show you the results with a 3D folder. So up to now you've seen me use our regular 2D folders with our little conversion plate. But actually 3D folders go through the mini really easily and fabulously. Um, and so you can see here you just take your... 3D folder through your 3x6 3D folder. My bit of card was a little bit too big, so what you can do when you've done that is trim it down. I'm just going to grab my guillotine and do that here so you can see. Um, and then I'm going to take this to the side and I'm going to trim this down because I want you to see how beautiful this 3D embossing is on this. Um, piece of double-sided centura look at the texture you you that looks completely 3d doesn't it that is the texture you're going to get because the pressure in the gemini mini even though it's a manual machine and a folder based manual machine is exceptional now who indulged in our vintage lace collection oh Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you went for that. You you went for it in your droves. And I'm not surprised because it is glorious. So what I'm going to do is cut this lovely lace border. Uh, Joy, you remember that one? That comes in. I think this is the one where you do that fabulous singing impersonation, Joe. Which uh, one? Chantilly oh, lace. Chantilly lace. And a pretty it's more about the shoulders than the it's singing, a, I think. It's yeah. about the shake, the shimmying. Yeah. It's about the shimmying. So we're going to look at how we can cut a... A border die, which is developed for our larger machines on a bigger range, beautiful, but cut it in the Gemini Mini. So I'm going to uh, position it down so I can hold it still. Now, the other thing just to mention about these folders, these cutting folders you're seeing me using, these can be flipped. So you can cut left, you can cut up and down and you can rotate and then you can turn it inside out and cut it that way too. So you'll get an awful lot of longevity out of this when you're cutting. So I'm going to cut these down, so put, face them down just to keep them nice and still. I'm going to use a little piece of repositionable tape at the top and the bottom. So I've got that in the perfect position for my border there. And that's going to be the waste card stock, so that can come off uh, later. And then I close up the folder and I pop it through my mini. There we go. Wind that through. Here we go. And then what I do is just remove my repositionable tape. Get my finger under it. There we go. Here and here. And then look at this. Look at this. And I'm just flicking. Look, and all of those pieces are flying out because the cut, and I'm doing this on purpose to show you that I don't need my porky tool to remove the majority of the pieces on there because the quality of the cut with the mini, with such a detailed die as this, is truly exceptional. And that's with that Chantilly lace border. So you can do your beautiful, delicate filigree cuts on this, as well as um, your just quick and easy sentiments, etc. Um, loads of you absolutely uh, loving this. Angela says, love my mini, bought one uh, for my granddaughters. For Easter, what a really uh, great idea. Uh, Lynn saying, love the 3D embossing folder as well. Christine saying, me, I have the vintage set. Uh, Paula also saying she loves uh, the vintage set. Karen's just got herself the alphabet bundle as well. Very busy on the alphabets. We'll come back to that a little bit later uh, in the show. Susan also saying, love uh, the vintage lace. Now, we're going to move on to uh, the rotating background stamps. Now, just before I do, uh, just to say, we've got a fabulous deal on the 8x8 with the magnetic base. Uh, so if you want to go for these two together, $24.99 uh, to get both of them at the same time, or $28.00. Or what you can do is you can get just the platform. If you've already got the 8x8, you can get the base for £13.50 or $13.50, uh, which is fantastic. So an option there 
whichever way you want to go for it. Because these, uh, we don't think we're going to be able to repeat this deal, by the way, is fabulous. These are um, perfect to use with your rotating stamp. So uh, let me just show you what you're going to be able to create with this. Oh, I've got some boards back here. Let me show you these because these are the different ways of using them. So what you can see is depending on how you stamp them up, uh, and how you move them around, it gives you a different effect. And what you're doing is, of course, working up to that big, lush centre panel where you've got all of the different ways of using it combined and layered up together, uh, as you can see just here. So, again, this one is the natural beauty that you can see there, layering it all up, and then once you've got it together, this is what you're then working towards. Think about using these in different colorways as well. Uh, you've got, um, you know, give you a real different feel or, and effect. Uh, spring is sprung is another option that you've got here as well. So you can see all the different ways of using it, finally building up to that lovely layered effect there, as you can see. And then also, uh, flutter by wishes. Uh, is the other uh, option there, as you can see. And this is what you are then building up to. Uh, now, some lovely samples here, too, to show you the sort of things that you can do. I know Leanne's got loads of things she wants to guide you through with this, but you can see here... Oh, I didn't need that one. Uh, you can see here the type of things that you're able to do. So uh, really, really gorgeous, lovely, full effects. Let me just grab the one that I got uh, there. And I love this one. If you manage to get, oh, we had a fantastic deal yesterday on the circular sentiments. Oh, was it yesterday or was it the day before? It was yesterday, wasn't yesterday. it? Yesterday. It was yeah. yesterday, yeah. Uh, so go back and watch the show. Now remember, all of our Crafters TV uh, shows, they live uh, on our website and you can always go and watch them back. All the deals uh, will last for at least 48 hours but you're able to go back and, um, you know, even if you go back further, all of the tints and tips and inspiration uh, that you've got there are good to go. So do go back uh, and do grab those, which is fantastic. Don't forget about the platform as well. I'm, just, I'm still monitoring the comments. Anything, um, are there any questions that you've got whatsoever you want me to ask, uh, Leanne, then do let me know. Have you, did you see... Did you see the HSA show last night? If you were in the States, what did you go for? What did you think of it? Did you see the lovely Sarah beamed in direct uh, from Newton Acliffe? Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you're shopping if you are over there uh, in the States. Um, Ellen is saying, yes, I was watching HSN, but not now. Of course not now. You're watching us. Uh, but Sarah will be back uh, a little later today on HSN if you are um, uh, over in the States. She's actually back uh, an hour after we finish. So stay with us for the next hour and seven minutes or eight minutes. And then what you can do is pop across to HSN uh, and spend the hour with Sarah as well. Um, I'm going to hand you back uh, to Leanne. Uh, what are you going to guide us through next, Leanne? I want to have a look at these fabulous background layering stamps, Jo, um, and my my uh, pick of the show, never to be repeated deal, never see it at this price again, ever, um, for the magnetic. Let me talk about that in a second, because I know lots of you have already got this 8 by 8 top. Um, and of course, if you haven't, you can have both of them together, which you can see there. But if you've already got the top, and when you watch this demonstration, you're like, oh, hello, that bottom is a game changer, and I need that in my life, then, then we've got this on a ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous bargain deal for you of only £13.50 or $13.50. So let me show you how it works first, and then you can decide, all of you, thousands of people who've got this, whether you want this too. Um, and for those of you who've been sitting on the fence, you just want to go and get the both of them, because it's immense. Right, now why is it immense? It's about precision. It's about reliability. It's about relocation. It's about never make a mistake. It's about never having anything you've got to put in the bin again. There's all of those different positives to it, and it's fantastic. Now, I'm going to choose. Let me choose. Let's go. Well, let's, oh, should we go with this one? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. Yes, I'm going with this one, and I'm going to see if you can all find the thing that I didn't see that Laura, our producer, had to point out to me. And I was like, oh! That paper was so fabulous, I didn't even see that. So when you take it out, you've got a six by six polymer stamp. And the polymer is really important because it takes the ink, doesn't cyst, doesn't bubble, doesn't resist, and you get a lovely even coverage of ink, especially when you use it with our um, quick dry ink pads. Okay, so you remove the two pieces of um, 
acetate that comes with do keep your acetate because it's nice to put it back there uh, one of the things i'll say about polymer is don't worry at home is that, that it can take a little bit of a stretch to get it off just because it's a big stamp so just take your time and that will release and then the other thing to just mention to you all is it will stain um, so it does like to take the colour from the ink pad as long as you clean it it won't transfer that colour to your other projects or to your other ink pads don't worry about it now just before I stick that down I want to talk to you a little bit about this platform about the magnetic base so you can see here we've got our stamping top and I'll just take the magnetic base away for a second and I'm just going to get a piece of paper to put underneath um, so it doesn't distract with my mat so we've got the top and you've got your ruler inch and centimeters all the way around the outside and you've got your four sprung legs with non-slip grip on the bottom here you've also got your crosshair in the middle and you've got your positioning grid which allows you to get before we have the magnetic base allows you to get perfect positioning use your stamping mat because the grid matched your stamping mat underneath get your stamp on and get beautiful quality stamping which you could go back and do because you've got those four fabulous sprung legs that don't take up too much space so that's the top enter it's like enter the dragon i feel like bruce lee enter the magnetic base that we've got here and it changes this from being a great stamping platform to this being the most exceptional stamping system out there now um, the reason i wanted to do a magnetic base with sprung legs rather than a hinge system is with hinge systems they're not always reliable for me and also I can't get thicker materials underneath because the hinge stops before I get to the material to stamp. So if I'm wanting to stamp on mount board, if I like mixed media, if I want to stand, stamp on a bit of a thicker cardstock or something like that, the hinge system will not work, which is why I wanted you to have that fabulous sprung top. This entire base is magnetic. The grid on top of here is an exact mirror image of the grid from the platform above for your positioning. You've also got these little wells in here where your feet fall in, your sprung feet, to give you perfect repositioning every time. And then you also get included your four magnets to keep your cardstock still while you're doing your stamping. Okay, so that's all of the features that we've got on there. How does it work? Well, I've got my piece of 7x7 seven seven cardstock here. Um, and I've got this uh, oversized so that when I'm doing my six by six, I can get it roughly in the center of this and then I can trim it down to the size I want for my project. You see, what I've done is bring in my little magnets to the side, which are keeping my cardstock still and flat. That's not going to budge for when I come to do my stamp. Uh, don't forget, if you've already got the 8x8 stamping platform, then you can go for just the base on its own. £13.50 uh, 13 or $13.50 to get the base, and then your 8x8 will work beautifully with it. If you want... I can't see this ever repeating that deal. It is a... Well, it's quite ridiculous, really. Uh, if you want to get both of them together, then absolutely you can. Uh, you can get them for $24.99 or $28 dollars both together. Whatever way you look at it, it's a fabulous deal, isn't it, Leanne? It's a fantastic deal, as you said, Joe, whichever way you look at it. I'm just looking for my uh, little wipes here because I will need to clean up between each layer. Okay, so what I've done is put my background rotation stamp roughly where I want it to be in the centre of this piece of paper. I then bring in my stamping platform and what I want you to do is notice, can you notice just before I do that, that I've got my crafter's companion just under there at the bottom left. You can see that, okay. Let's move that in there, pop that back where it needs to be. And then for my rotation stamps, what I'm doing is I'm making sure when I put this on, I've got my crafter's companion in the bottom right-hand corner. That will be important for when I come to do the multiple rotations, and you'll see why in a second, Joe. So now I'm just going to go and pick up my stamp. So I just pushed down. That's picked up my stamp from where it is. It's in the perfect position on my platform. I'm good to start stamping now. So the first colour I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with um, Honey Pot. I like honey pot and then we're going to go lots of light tapping to get the ink on um, and this is with your quick dries now we did a master class um i, sh I went all posh again there a master uh, we, did a, we did a master class darling um of the quick dries the other week there why do i do this like lisa tarberg when i do master class <laughs> i don't know why, can't, why do i do it on the side of my mouth i have no idea master class why can't i just say master class i can't do it so i want to do that i don't know why isn't that bizarre See, that's because I'm trying to speak in a language I don't speak, which is English, because I speak, <laughs> I speak Northeast. 
um, we did a masterclass. And so if you've got your quick dry inks, these stamps will be perfect to go with that. So I've just done lots of light tapping. And then notice I nearly got it wrong, but I've put, corrected myself. I've got my crafter's companion back in the bottom right corner. My feet go into the little wells, the locators, and then I can just stamp this down. Now, look, I just want to show you this. So I've stamped it, but look, I've got bits. Oh, that didn't do very well, and I didn't catch that very well. I wasn't very good at that. Well, because I've got my feet, which get it into the right place every time, I can now just go back, and I can go multiple times up and down stamping. I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I can check, is that perfect or not? No, not quite. Um, I need a little bit more down here and a little bit more there. Is that perfect? Nearly. There's a little bit missing there. Uh, there we go. And now that's perfect. And we're going to see that with a darker colour as well. I've done the yellow because it's going to be my shadow in the background and I'm going to do it with a darker colour. And uh, Lynn's do asking us, Leanne, uh, if she can send us some pictures. Absolutely you can, Gosh, Lynn. You yes. can send them to us at studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, details along the bottom of your screen there. Send us uh, them in. Let us know even up to what you've been working on. And if we get time... Well, show them as well. Obviously, you're giving us your permission to show them uh, if you send them in to us. Also, Carol's asking, uh, Leanne, is there any dyes or stamps with hummingbirds on here at Crafts Companion? Oh, there, I think there is a hummingbird stamp, you know, on the website. It's an old one, so it might have sold out. It's a good few years old, but you might be lucky and there might be a couple left. Um, over. I would have a little look on the website, but I'm sure that we did used to have one. Mm. Okay, now then, you'll see here, I've just stamped this up in my red now, which is my next colour. My crafter's companion was in the bottom right corner before, so now I need to turn it 90 degrees. And so now my crafter's companion is in the bottom left corner, which means I've got the correct rotation in place for this next stamp. So you see, I've just pushed it down there once, and I want to check what it looks like. Well, it's looking okay, it's looking pretty good, um, but do you know what, I'm going to just go and pop it down again and this is what I mean about you can do it multiple times and let it come back up and not worry about any shadowing because you're just getting beautiful positioning time after time with this fabulous set of stamps it really is gorgeous okay so we've done that once we've done the red um, and so now we'll pick another color uh, notice how I'm not letting Joe pick the colors no I know what's yeah. this all about uh, you've learned your lesson haven't you I think I think you might have history <laughs> on that um, thing, so I'm just keeping that to myself. Uh, we might let your pick a colour next time. Fuchsia, always fuchsia. And fuchsia is a always good colour, Joe. Uh, fuchsia is a good colour. Okay, so the next layer, I'm going to do this nice green colour, just so you've got a contrast between all of them, and you can see. Uh, let's do this nice green. I do like this one. And I'm going to turn it 90 degrees again. So I had my crafter's companion in my bottom left. Um, at that point so now I'm going to turn it up and it's going top left so my crofters my crofters crafters companion is just making its way around the platform and then when I crafters. stamp this down <laughs> crafters darling crafters. when I stamp it oh I was just showing myself there when I stamp it round you see again I've got that fabulous rotation in place and I can just keep taking it off and checking and making sure that I'm happy with the result that I'm getting because of that fantastic positioning that you get and then I just clean off that colour and notice I'm not taking my stamp off the platform at any point, so I'm not having to worry about getting it relocated in the perfect place. The platform is doing that for me, um, which is fantastic. So I just do that, and then I pick my final colour, and I think we'll go with a nice blue. Let's go with a nice midnight blue. Um, and I'm going to tap this all over now. And then because I, re I watched where I started with my Crafter's Companion, because I'm tracing it around the board, it allows me to not have to worry about what my positioning is. And so I was at the top left before, so now I'm finishing at the top right because my first one was at the bottom right. So I just pop that in place. The little legs locate me. Crafter's companion is there. Here we go. Now there, and that is my final one where I've created that lovely, 
background paper with all of those contrast colours on and then I've got a little card to show you with this particular design what that actually looks like when it gets translated into a project. Isn't that beautiful? And actually that's just stamping those same colours but onto um, a cream cardstock and that looks like a really high quality scrapbook paper that you would find on the high street. Here's some examples um, of other backgrounds that we've stamped look by changing the stamp that you've got by looking um, at the application by just changing the colors up there you can go really oh look at that you can go beautifully subtle isn't that lovely that's a little bit of sandstorm i think that might be a nice gray that's um pink tulip i believe oh just gorgeous look at these oh you can go really vibrant aren't these glorious so really beautiful these background rotation stamps however it's made possible by this fantastic stamping platform does, cindy's asking does the magnetic uh, platform come in any smaller sizes uh, leanne is it just the well, larger one we do at the moment um, we only do the eight by eight at the moment um and the reason for that is was it Cindy? Did you say Cindy? Indeed, Cindy, indeed. Yeah. So the reason for that is Cindy. Let me just. Tell, so I like to be honest with these things, because now you've got your magnet on here and you've got your eight by eight, and you can go back, um, back and stamp. Honestly, we would just be taking advantage of you if we gave you a magnetic base for all of you the size of the platform, because it's not necessary. You can stamp a tiny little piece of card on here in the centre of your platform and use your magnets to keep it still because your legs always go back into the same position. So um, in terms of needing and using the stamping platform, we don't do it smaller because there's no need for us to sell you that. And so why would we sell you something that you don't really need when we've got the perfect tool here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you want to go for uh, these rotating stamps, they are very, very busy. Uh, as you can see, some different options here for you. Uh, this is the first one you've got. It really is gorgeous, as you can see there. That is the uh, buds and blooms uh, that you're looking at just there, which is a really, really lovely one. The next one we've got here is a uh, natural beauty that you can see there. So you can see uh, you've got lots of different options. You don't have to uh, use it stamped all four uh, times. You can, of course, just use one of the stamps uh one of the stamps or you can rotate it maybe twice or you can go all the way and uh, have all four there now the next one we've got here is uh spring has sprung which is this one just here so you can see really really gorgeous designs and again you know these have been done in kind of quite muted pastel tones do something quite bold maybe do even do them just in black and see the result that you get there could we if we want to use a pigment heat and emboss this uh leanne yes yes yeah. absolutely you could 100 percent. and actually that would look amazing joe yeah, I think so. It would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? Uh, so loads of different options. That's why stamps are so versatile, because there are so many things that you can do with them. This one we've got here is Flutterby Wishes. Uh, £25 or $31 is the best way to get the best value. You can get two for thirteen fifty or for $16.50 as well, if you do want to cherry pick. Now, the great thing is we bring you amazing deals and offers here at, at Crafters TV, but if you're in our club, you might be saving even more money. Uh, here is all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. 
when you reach 1500 points you'll become a platinum member giving you the same shipping benefits as a gold member but with the added bonus of a massive 20 percent discount on all of your purchases now on top of that you'll receive exclusive discounts sneak peeks of brand new products special offers and money saving vouchers you'll have access to an exclusive secret facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Uh, all the details there of Club Inspire, uh, as you can see, it's a great club to be in. It doesn't cost you anything to join, which is the most important thing. So make sure uh, that you are a member, uh, make sure you've joined. Now, I want to share something with you that's very, very busy. Crafters Inspiration, or Crafters, as our Leanne would say. For me, it's definitely Crafters. Um, I did say something. What is it I said earlier? Can you remember, Look, uh, I said, instead of saying... Uh, because uh, obviously when you move somewhere, uh, you've obviously got, like, it, it sort of infiltrates you or accent your vocabulary a bit, doesn't it? And I said, whereas I'd normally say um, after, Sarah asked me something earlier and I immediately responded with after. Which is, oh, I, think, I feel like it's, Good lad. and that was the first time I'd noticed that I was a bit like, oh. We're taking you over, Joe. Change is going to come. Can uh, you do no properly? <laughs> No. <laughs> you've got to go, no. No, no. no. There you are, no. There's another word you've learned. Crafters <laughs> um, Inspiration, of course, 70 projects, brand new as well. Uh, it was only launched on Thursday last week, so you're going to be amongst the first people to get your hands on it. And as always, I think if you are just stuck for some inspiration, this is great. It's going to guide you through so many of your uh, Crafts Companion products. But it's a great way as well of taking ideas and tips and utilising those on your wider stash as well. I think sometimes we just need a bit of inspiration to get our crafty mojo going again. This is going to be uh, the magazine that gives it to you, I'm sure. Now, the magazine itself, has 50, is 50 pounds worth of value uh, of crafty goodies in here because not only are you going to get the magazine you're also going to get this beautiful peony frame die that you've got there and you can see on the back here it says thank you i think that would be lovely paper piece together would just look gorgeous you've then got the herringbone embossing folder pretty sure would these go through your oh, i don't know would that go through you one second let me just check i'm, I'm thinking about it uh, no, it wouldn't. I didn't think it would. Just checking if it would go through your mini. Sorry. Uh, thinking out loud there. Uh, you've also got your stamps here included as well. And you've got these papers, but it's like a, it's like another whole magazine, the papers. There's so many of them. Let me get them around the right way for you. There you go. So you can see all of these gorgeous uh, uncoated uh, patterned papers. Uh, you've got some sentiments in here. Oh, I love that one. It's XO. I didn't realise until recently. You know some people put XO at the end of their messages? The O means hug. I didn't need that. Kiss hug. Oh, have you I never did. watched Natural Libra? No. I oh. am a Libra as well, so maybe I should. You've got to watch Natural Libra. Oh, no, not like Libra is in the star sign Libra. No, Natural oh. Libra like, you know, like Jack Black in the movie, the Mexican wrestling. <laughs> no. Have you not, no just, so, if you've got to watch Natural Libra. Do you want to this up? <laughs> I promise you, I promise you true, truly, I'm not, this is... My, one of my family's favourite movies of all time. Really? And we can quote whole, seri whole scenes to you. Um, and even when things happen, we will refer it back to natural labour in some way. Like, for example, someone had leggings on the other day. My husband and I looked at each other across the sofa and went, stretchy pants. <laughs> um, because they have stretchy pants. Anyway, in natural labour, he sends a letter to his love interest and he puts kisses and hugs on the bottom. And he does little kiss, big kiss, little hug, big hug. And he does the circles. <laughs> Um, and you all needed to know that at home. So let us know in the comments, do you like Nacho Libra and should Joe watch it because he's missing out? Oh, I'd love to. I feel like I need <laughs> to see it now. Scissors. I'm missing out. I am missing hugs as well at the moment. Oh, you know, me I think too. of all the things that I'm missing uh, about lockdown. I think hugs and going to the pub for a beer. Obviously, drink responsibly. <laughs> don't spill it. Um, they're the two things that I am uh, missing the most. Anyway, back to Crafters Inspiration. So you've got, oh, I keep trying to shortchange it. I've got it all out? Yeah, I've got it all out this time. Uh, you've got that. So that all lives in that box uh, beautifully. I'll put this back in now. There you go. So I can tidy up as I go. Uh, you've also got, as well, uh, this lovely uh, birthday party stamp and die. Now, this is really fun. Let me show you the back of this, because what you're able to do 
is take your own pictures and photos and put them in here uh, so you can make like frame cards to do that in. So it's a really cool way of using it. Now you should pay $19.99 for the die on its own. However, what we're gonna do is Crafts Inspiration, you get them both here for $19.99, which is just brilliant. So do grab those uh, whilst we've got it. Oh, if you wanted to go for the Crafters Inspiration on its own, by the way, exciting. We're, we're, we're moving into the digital age here uh, at Crafts Companion because you can get, this is a digital download. Uh, so that means if you bought it now, well, you could have it on your phone or your tablet or your computer in the next 10 minutes or so. So you can get it like that. Don't worry, all the free gifts, we'll still send you those. We'll just send them separately in the post. But you'll have the magazine now and good to go, which is great. £7.95 is UK only on that one. Oh, this is absolutely flying out. I'd say if you're watching this show back afterwards, double check the stock on the website because we knew this was going to be busy Look at it, it is just luscious. It is our Centura Pearl. Now, our Centura Pearl is always so, so busy whenever we bring it to you. When we bring you double-sided, when we give you 35% off as well, it is no uh, surprise that it is absolutely flying out today because not only do you get the white, you also get as well the ivory. Why am I thinking, it makes me think of babies white and ivory together, I don't know why. It's making me think of like christenings for some reason and I don't know, I just think it's... I think it's just those neutral colours. Is it colours, the white and it? ivory together or is it quite bridal almost, white and ivory together? I think together? it's both, uh, Joe. I think anything that comes like a wedding or a baby, I think it's quite neutral as a base and then allows you to add your own personalisation and decoration to it depending on what colour or theme you want to go with or if you don't quite know what the theme is of the person you're sending it to so I think it's that lovely neutral base that you've got, very usable definitely the two colours that you'll use the most of and that you'll go back to time and again um, because they work with everything else. Mm, absolutely. Do grab them whilst we've got them. Uh, we, we usually only really see this. Uh, Sarah's cartload usually has this in and it sells out in no time at all. Uh, we've got hundreds of these, not thousands as well. So I don't think they'll be around that long. £15 or $22 if you want to go for those. Now we're going to show you something that is coming up. Because in the launch party, it's all about launching new deals. Uh, bringing you back deals that have just launched, giving you new deals at great prices, new products, and also looking ahead to things that are coming up. So Leanne's going to take us through something that is coming up on the 16th of April on Create and Craft, and it is the floral layering stencil. So if you love our layering stamps, wait until you see our layering stencils. These are brilliant, aren't they, Leanne? These are out of this world. I adore them. I love a stencil, and I love our Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads. They're my first... Um, my first baby in terms of the ones we went with and so these stencils are a perfect partner to those Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads. Very quickly in each set you will get three stencils. You get your base layer, you get your um, accent and I'll just show you what I mean by that here. So you'll get your base layer, you'll get your accent and you'll get your background and this one's a confetti background. Let me show you what I mean by those. Now what I've done is got them on a piece of scrap card here and I've sprayed them all on the back with a tiny little bit of our stick and spray repositionable adhesive just so that I don't have to worry about taping it down or worry about it moving while I'm working. What you will see we've done for you on these um, stencils is we've printed the number. So you've got one, two and three in the top um, left corner so that you know which order to do them in. You're then going to take your blending tool and I'm taking my palest pink ink um, for this and I'm just going to blend that in. Now you can blend it in with your blending tool like this if you like. If that takes too long for you, if you're impatient, use one of your eggs and just pounce it on. Um, and sometimes with the stenciling techniques like this, um, it, this just gets the ink on that little bit quicker for you. But it's entirely up to you. If you're not on a time limit like me, where you've got to get lots of uh, things shown to you in a period of time, just having a nice crafty afternoon, then of course you could just take your time and blend it in with your um, lovely blending tools there. But I'm just gonna pounce this in quickly. And I'm not gonna worry about getting too much of a perfect blend because I've got those samples I can show you. I just want to show you the technique. Um, so do you see there where I was rubbing, I caught my stencil. So just be careful when you're doing that. And so pounce um, is a good way of doing it too. So I've got my first layer of color on there and we'll just remove that first layer stencil. Pop that to the side. And then I've got my layer two here. And um, what I'll do with my layer two is just make sure I've got my layer two there. Just 
just get it over where I can see it's going to be and I can see through to my list room I had my big head in the way again while I was checking apologies and then I'm just getting that into the right place there and with my darker colour of pink I'm now going to pounce in the detail on the lily there okay so I'm going in and I'm putting that on so I've got my lily get your head out the way Leanne um, and I've got the leaves at the same time here so I'm making sure that I'm being topical with my application pouncing that on there we go and I can do the same down here for this one there we are lots of you uh, in the comments talking about being platinum lots of lots of people showing off uh, in the comments Leanne talking are about uh, being platinum lots of you talking about what you are uh, stocking up on uh, over the uh, weekend um, oh Ellen is saying uh, she's just ordered a glass mat over the weekend so it'd be perfect oh. to use uh, with these um, yeah sediments i think roxanne means sentiments i think is what she's gone for there <laughs> auto correct, correct can be a real pain when you are uh you're talking about crafty terms oh. um this is uh loads of you messaging away uh christine's got the uh has these stencils and got the how many water pads so it's, uh christine must have got them when they launched uh, over in america on hsn uh, so great great to know that you've got them and you are loving them uh jan is saying love the st stencils leanne really need to get these so so pretty it's just love and remember to pounce she's put in uh i feel like a i feel like a cat it makes me yeah I, mean, I don't feel like a cat. That was a really no. general statement, wasn't it? it I was. mean, it sounds like something a cat would do. You know what I meant. <laughs> now, I haven't been careful with this application. You will be much more careful at home. Um, but what I wanted to do was just show you the the quick the quick application. And actually, what I would have done, uh, Joe, at home, is when I finished doing that red, I would have taken some tissue, cleaned off the surplus pink ink okay. before I go in to do this, uh, do the green leaves, just so I don't get any transference. And I have gotten a little bit of transference on mine, um, but that's because I didn't clean my stencil off because I'm, I'm rushing it for you. So you would do that at home. What I did is went with a nice light ink, and then I went in with some darker shade with a darker ink. So that's layer two of the stencil, and that comes off. And you see that starts to build Lovely. up your lilies beautifully for you, doesn't it? And then the final stencil in all of these collections is this lovely background. And so the background can be all over. So you can do it really subtly um, and have it kind of as if it's confetti all over. So you can get okay. that texture over the top of your florals if you want to. But because you can see through, if you don't want to do it all over, you can now topically pounce. Topically and pouncing. Topically wow, pounce. there's a I term. Mean, honestly, I'm excelling myself today, really, aren't I, with all of these little Leanisms that are coming out. Um, and I can just get the confetti then in and around those lilies. So you just choose. Do you want it all over so you want the texture there? Or do you want it just around the image? And so you're topically applying. And I'm just going to do it lightly over the top of a, one of the lilies here so you can see the difference between the two. Um, and then the choice is entirely up to you. So you would continue and do that and just until you're happy and always clean your stencils off. I'd just like to give it a rub before I remove it even because when you don't, what happens is you get your ink on your fingers and then you smudge it. But look, so you can see here where I've topically pounced and then here where I've done a light pouncing over the top of the lily as well. Um, so you can get all of that colour on there. When you take your time, this is the oh, sort wow. of thing with all of these fabulous layering stencils that you're going to be able to create at home. There, uh, this is my favourite coming right up now. Look at this. <gasps> Ta-da! Really applying your ink. How fabulous is that? They're usable. They're a really lovely size. That's been repeated once here and once in the corner for a larger card. Same floral. Looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it, Joe? I just think they're amazing. I guess if you want, could you with those, Leanne, as well, do it and then fussy cut them and sort of use some foam pads and sort of build them up like that. I bet they'd look amazing like that. Absolutely you could. Actually, that's a really good idea. I hadn't even thought of that. So you could get some really lovely big statement. For, you could even decoupage them, Joe. Ooh. Do two or three the same. Have your background, decoupage up the florals. That's going to look immense. It's going to look fantastic. Mm. Uh, loads Look of different ways that on. you can use them. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see them, 16th of April uh, here in the UK on Crate and Craft. I believe they have already launched if you are in the US. Now, I need to guide you back through this little... Oh, I've, uh, you can tell it's got a good suction cap on it. I've managed to pick the box up with a suction cap. So let me just remove that from there. 
There we go. Uh, so that's great because that means it's not going to move around on your work surface. Uh, the Gemini Mini now, it may be mini in size, but it is mighty uh, in power. And the great thing is about it, you can take it on the go wherever you want to. It, it was, it, we launched it here in the UK. It sold out and it was out of stock for the, what felt like the longest amount of time. It's so great to have this back in stock, but also for us to have this on such a great deal as your Explorer deal. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get the mini machine itself, you're going to get uh, the manual, which guides you through exactly how you're going to use it. You're going to get the folder, which tells you, uh, uh, which sorry, is where you're going to pop your dies inside. You're going to get your uh, purple shim. The purple shim, Liam. What's yes. that for? Because we don't. I mean, we don't use it an awful lot, do we? The purple shim. So the purple shim is just for when you're using your 2D embossing folders, because we've set up the mini to be able to use 3D embossing folders, because we all love that extra dimension and sculpting that you get from a 3D D folder which means then that the little gap the mouth that your folder goes through is just a little bit too deep because the 3d folder is deeper than a 2d folder to be able to put your 2d folder through but we didn't want to be able to lose you being able to do that functionality because that's not heard of with any other manual or folder based system being able to do that and we didn't want to lose it for you because it's so important and so glorious so what we did is put that extra little shim in which means when you're using your 2d folder you pop that in and it just gives it a little bit of an oomph up so that you get your 2d embossing as well wonderful so you've got that included as well as you would expect so that's everything you get as standard uh, you'd normally pay 29.99 just for the machine alone we're going to give you uh, some diets and uh, an embossing folder included so you've got this one here this beautiful little ladybird uh, what was it you had earlier a ladybird bottom you've got the butterfly and the dragonfly as well and you've got the polka dot hearts they're coming to you included too so you get all of that and then what we're going to do is give you the bag now the bag should be 12.99 so all of this together should be over 50 pounds it's 35 pounds which is great you should be over 70 dollars in the us it's 50 dollars and this uh the uh, mini fits shall i put it all back in not often i tidy up i can assure you but i'll do oh. Definitely suck. Those cats definitely work. Let's just pop that into there because you can get the uh, mini in here. We can get all of our um, shims in here as well. You've got room for things like your pokey tools in there. If you don't want this bit in, that bit actually just comes out of there as well, which is fantastic. So you can remove that bit if you need to. But it means you could get some dies as well in there, a couple of embossing folders. You've got everything you, oh, let's put our die and embossing folder in there actually. You've got everything that you need to do a little bit of crafting on the go, which I love. Now, the next one we're gonna come back and have a look at. I knew these would be uh, so busy. Uh, if you are in the US and you wanna get hold of these, these are on HSN at the moment. So uh, you can uh, pop along there and grab them. But if you're in the UK, we are able to bring these to you, which is amazing. So uh, 75 pounds gets you the whole collection here which is amazing pretty much everyone that's going for these as i thought they would is going for the whole collection so you can see you've got all the letters in here i'm just going to bring it in a bit for you so you can see i just want you to be able to see what you've got so what this is is the die has cut the a out of the white layer and then you've got that black layer of card coming through behind so think about the different combinations think about uh glitter think about centura pearl think about your uh think about mirrored cardstock matte mirrored cardstock how about mirror uh with a matte mirror over the top i think you can be really playful with this i saw someone as well there was a sample a card made someone made on one of, i think it was on the us crafters companion page and they'd actually put rainbow cardstock behind it and then what they'd done is then pop the uh die cut uh, piece of paper over the or card over the top so you had like a rainbow uh, lettering uh, in the background behind it so this is what you're getting you're getting all of the alphabets you're getting the numbers as well and you're getting the ampersand too absolutely everything and we're going to give you the dotted tape pen included in there as well you're saving over 22 pounds on that one in the uk so do grab it uh, whilst we have it uh, if you're in the us then you'll find it over uh, on hsn remember uh, if you're in the us sarah's coming up in the us in about an hour and a half she'll be out the back there prepping away frantically no doubt uh, if you went for the uh, rotating stamps or even if you didn't i think this is a fantastic uh, stamp platform and to get the deal that we've got on the show today 
is absolutely amazing. So you can get the eight by eight stamping platform. And I think this is great because you could go for a smaller one, absolutely, but you can put all your dice or you put all your small uh, stamps on the big platform. There's nothing doing that. Also, you can get it with the magnetic base as well. So $24.99 or $28 to get both of those, which is amazing value. It should be $39.98 in the UK or $44.98 in the US. So get both. If you've already got the 8x8, because I know, yeah, no, that one's it. There you go. Uh, the 8x8, uh, as I know thousands of you have, then you can go for the magnetic base on its own if you wish. Uh, £13.50 in the UK, $13.50 if you are in the US. Okie doke, we're having a very, very busy launch party, as we knew we would. I think it's quickly uh, become your favourite show of the week. Loads of you uh, absolutely love it. Uh, Judy saying hello from... Uh, saying hello from a cold and snowy Colorado. Um, oh, Linda's saying, um, uh, talking about the magazines. Uh, loads of you commenting uh, along. Uh, Maxine saying, hi, some great deals today. Um, can I just thank, uh, take a moment to thank Leanne for doing the home live tutorials and Craig too. I've been really enjoying them. It's lovely. Well, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Do you know what? It's just lovely to and i mean i'm i don't look my best jaw on those i have to say because i'm at home in Why my t-shirt and my joggers without my face on and it's in my me messy craft room but it's just lovely to have the time to sit and relax and chat and talk and share some techniques take time that we don't always get when we're doing shows like this where we've got lots of things to show you and just really has a nice crafty time and a chat and i'm really enjoying it but thank you for saying that that's really kind Oh, uh, make sure you join uh, Leanne for her Facebook Lives. Craig as well. I believe Craig uh, on the HSM fan page is live every single night. So you can definitely uh, catch him. A lot of you uh, talking about the stencils and how excited for those you are. A lot of you talking about using pastes for your stencils as well. Great way uh, to use those. I uh, keep getting your comments in. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to ask uh, Leanne. Uh, oh, Suzette says, thank you all for the wonderful job you're doing. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, Suzette, talking about wonderful jobs as well uh, the guys and girls are over in the warehouse are doing an amazing job at the minute working so hard taking all the necessary precautions to get all of your orders out to you uh, and dispatch from our uh, warehouse is happening really quickly uh, usually in less than 48 hours as some of you uh, and especially our US viewers date side of getting some uh, having some inconsistencies with tracking of orders uh, don't worry about it we are aware of the situation and obviously the ordering just depends on your courier in your area and what their delivery schedule is like but if you can't track your parcel don't worry we've got full tracking on it we are aware and as you'll know our customer services uh, guys and girls are absolutely amazing so if you have any problems you can always email customer services uh, with any uh, queries that you might have um, but yeah it's a great it's a great time to order really because our all of our supply chain is moving as we uh, expected it to. Uh, Karen says, oh, thanks to the warehouse stuff. I'll pass that on, Karen. Um, oh, should I? Says, Leanne, you are the best. Oh. Just that. I couldn't agree more. Oh, that's fantastic. I feel like I need to do my Tina Turner now. Um, and I, honestly, that is a sight to behold when I've got my short, my short, short sparkly frock on with my high heels and my Tina Turner wig doing a proud Mary. That is definitely something to be seen. Right, now I've got um, my alphabet dies again and we've got the mini, which is truly gorgeous. Now, Joe's mini got stuck to his box a little bit earlier there, didn't it? And I just want to show you how fabulous this mini is just before I get onto the shadow alphabets because the suction that you've got on this machine to keep it still when you're using it is fantastic. So much so that I can pick up my glass mat with this. It really is good. Now, when you want to take your mini off, when you want to release that suction, Obviously, lifting it and then holding it down and yanking isn't going to do that. So what you do is you rock. That's the technique. You rock it back towards yourself and that removes it from whatever surface you've stuck it down to when you're using it. So my mini's going to get stuck down again. There it is. And I've got my shadow alphabet to show you once again. I just need my handle in the right position. There we go. Um, now, you love these shadow alphabets. And I thought, you know what? Let's just have a look at them cut in a couple of different materials. And then I'm going to take a little bit more time and show you all of the samples because I think when you see the inspiration behind these, when you see how fabulous they are, then you're going to understand why uh, they're so usable and why so many of you are shopping and getting them because they really are fabulous. So these shadow alphabets, dead easy to use. I've got the L and the E here. 
Um, and let's let's do the the L this time because we did the E before. So I've got a nice piece of my glitter cardstock here, which I'm going to mount it up on. And then I've got a piece of mirror card to go with, a matte mirror card this time in the same colour. I've got my Gemini mini folder. And then I've got my repositionable tape here, which will keep it still. I take my little shadow alphabet die, position that where I would like it in the center of the piece of card that I'm using. And I love the fact that these dies are a really nice statement size when you see the card projects, but actually a perfect small size as well to work in your Gemini Mini. So I'm just holding that still by putting it through the center of the die, close up my cutting folder, and then run that through. There we go. And once that's run through, I just remove my repositionable tape. Oh, I didn't even need to. It can wait. Look, that die came away instantly. Um, there is my waste. Don't throw that away because you can use those for embellishing other cards. Um, and then your little bits of shadow just pop out. You can use your pokey tool. They're just held in there by the surrounding cardstock. They're not... Um, not cut just give them a little poke and you can see they're on the reverse you can probably see that a little bit easier there we are you can see that lovely shadow that's there fabulous and then all you would need to do is either stick that flat onto your contrast of your glitter or you could 3d it up and it really makes that shine i'm going to 3d it up um, and that's how easy it is just to make your lovely little custom toppers and i think the thing is joan it just certainly isn't um reducing is a trend is personalization personalization is huge on instagram for everything um and also customization and these alphabet dies are going to let you do that look how easy it is to make a little panel and then of course if you apply that to a project here's the card i made earlier where you can see how you can do that with the lovely glitter shining through from underneath really beautiful. the other thing just to show you as well joe with this uh, little bit of glitter saying oh. uh, no, sorry, Maxine, uh, mm -hmm. it did say, it did make me laugh, Leanne, when your hubby, your hubby had a peek through the door and then you closed the door on him. What's that all about? <laughs> so I was doing my live from home um, and I'd said to him, <coughs> uh, Simon, I'm going upstairs to do a little live for everybody from home. I'll be gone a couple of hours, like, don't worry. Um, but, you know, he's nosy. He likes <laughs> to know what's going on. And so I had me door ajar a little bit and I was doing, and all he said was a little head coming round to have a little look and see what was going on, see if I was really doing a crafty live with everybody <laughs> for two hours in the spare bedroom. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I was like, what are you doing? Shut the door so we couldn't get back in. <laughs> Mind your own business. Uh, I'm here with my crafty friends. We're having a nice time. You go and talk bikes with your friends. We're talking We're bikes. talking craft right now. Mm. Bikes, not, not the motor variety. The, the stuff you have to power with Push your bikes. own. bikes. Yeah. Mountain bikes, road bikes, it's cross bikes. a bit of a funny word for a bicycle, really, a push bike, because you don't push it, do you? Uh, no. You don't bit, push it. Well, you don't push do it. You, do you push it with your legs? Do I don't know. you push it with your legs? Maybe an old-fashioned bike. That's you used to, me. Maybe you used to push them Looking with, at, with... That was me doing my push bike impression. Yeah, there, maybe. That was my impersonation of what it might look like if I was riding a bike. <laughs> Carleen is saying, uh, Leanne, I sit on the fence with a shadow alphabet. Leanne, oh. please show me uh, why I should take the jump. I think you have shown oh, us. Well, we're going to show you that in a minute. Well, I'm going to show you this. If this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. And then we're <laughs> going to have a look at these samples. And I think that will absolutely do it for you when you see how versatile they are and all of the different ways you can use them. So I'm just going to poke these out. So I've just done this on glitter card this time. And do you know, luxury um, glitter card like this, because you're you're actually cutting through a layer of card, a layer of adhesive and a layer of glitter film is, is a bit tricky to cut usually, Joe. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I wanted to do that to show you that actually these dies and the mini will still cut through a tricky material for you. So that can get stuck on there now. So I'm doing it in the opposite. So I've got glitter on top and then I've got my piece of mirror here. And this is what I love about these, is doing all of the layering and texturising as well. It's not just about having them um, as a letter cut in. I mean, of course, you can do that, and that's how they were intended. But when you start to get really crafty with them at home, the possibilities are endless. So this time, I'm not using what was intended. I'm using my waist. This is my throwaway piece. But look, my, even my throwaway piece has a beautiful self-emboss inside. So really, that does not deserve to go in the rubbish or the trash can. So I'll move that to one side. I'll get my 3D glue gel again. Here it is. 
and I'm going to stick this one down quickly there and then this is just speed crafting but you know you get the idea um, and then we'll have a little talk through some samples and then this one is going to get 3D'd on top and so if you've bought lots of our luxury card packs which I'm sure you all have because you adore them using those three have you oh we've got them on the show today apparently oh, woohoo. oh so yes. um if you've if you've bought into those and if you've got them at home or if you are look using the three different luxury cards from the kit you've got the matte mirror underneath the the glitter which has got the shadow with the matte mirror shining through and then your shiny letter e on top here's what i did earlier as well look like that or you can do it as you're a look at all of the difference with your thing looking fabulous and that's how you would make a project like this but there is so much more you can do I just want to quickly show you mm. the luxury card top. So this is the carnival I've got. Now within the carnival, you get the adhesive glitter, you get the glitter, the matte mirror, and the mirror card as well in a vast array of gorgeous colours. So that's the carnival. I've also got as well uh, the precious metals here laid out. Again, this one is a 40 sheet pack for you, which is gorgeous. Uh, and they are on a multi-buy. So you get four of them, £30 or $42. The other options that you've got are um, purple, ice blue, gold, and silver as well. Make sure you stock up on those while they are on a uh, on a, such a great deal. Uh, loads of you uh, saying hi. Uh, Carleen says she's definitely swayed. We haven't even seen the samples uh, yet. Wait until you see the wonderful finished cards that Leanne's gonna take us through because they look beautiful. Now, here, look at these fabulous cards. Joe, these are exceptional. And I've got them all out. I'm gonna have a look at them all so you can see all of the different techniques because I think if this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. This is where they've been, it's been cut into a full panel, cut several times and laid with the glitter behind, look, and done as a bow front. So you get all of that 3D coming through there. You can see with the joy, fabulous. Here's another example of our happy birthday to you, where we've done the same color card underneath for the shadow as we have for picking the letter out. That's the technique I've just shown you about cutting them from a scrap and building them up. So this is your waist, don't throw it away. You can make custom little signs for bedrooms for little people or big people, depending on who you're doing it for. Customize something for dad. Look at this, here's another cool one. Happy birthday to you, bro. I adore that, that's fantastic. Um, here we've got happy birthday to you and they're 40 because you get the numbers in there as well. The personalization and the customization that you can get in here is brilliant. Here's a card for somebody who is 96 or 96. That's nifty that, isn't it? Look, 96, 96. Oh, that's it. I just, I was a bit fascinated by that. Um, <laughs> here's a one for 60. Look at this sweet 16. 41, 70, so they're all of your numbers, but look here, here with your techniques, look at this. Um, you can see you've got your beautiful floral with your mum on there, so that's more traditional. Here we've got our numbers. This is what I call my sister, I call her sis. And so being able to send her a card with sis on, hi sis, would be fantastic because we're not gonna buy that on the high street, are we? But then you've got your classic 25 wedding anniversary in here. You've got loving hugs up here. Look, you've got baby. You've got your shaker cards for smile. You've got your cool teenage cards. You've got your cool dad cards. You've got your cool happy birthday to use. Your really fancy moms if you want. You've got your stepper love cards. You've got your classy mum. So this is great because here's the thing, mum in the USA, mam here in the North East, mum I would expect for you, Joe, down in Essex, am I'm I right? Mum. Mum? I'm so not a mum personally, that would no, be impossible, no. but you know what I'm saying. So you've got an <laughs> M-U-M, um, you've got an M-U-M in your life, I've got an M-A-M in my life, I've got a mam. So, you know, it's great to be able to have a card with whatever it is that you call the loved ones in your life. But look, here, you, if you're cutting out your little bees with your mini, if you've got your little bee bottom going on, you could do a bee happy and use the little bee that I cut out earlier. You've got your I love yous. You've got your really soft lilies. You've got your big backgrounds. I've got to show you one more because if this doesn't convince you this next one, I think you've got no heart or soul. I'm just, who doesn't want oh, to bling it one. up? Look at that. Sorry with all of the background and the That's bling. Like I need to say there. sorry, but I need to do it with sass. I I've got just say, the card. I'm sorry. Well, so this is saying I'm sorry, but it's like this. It's sorry. Yeah, not absolutely. Sorry. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, definitely. After that, you didn't see, did you? Sorry. 
Not sorry. <laughs> yeah. But it's gorgeous. Honestly, just so versatile. The font's fantastic. You're going to buy these today and be using them in 20 years' time. It's not going to go out of date and you're going to be able to customise and personalise everything. Which uh, is are so, some of them so good. Stephanie's asking, are some of them in uh, in two pieces? They're all one piece, aren't they, Leanne? All one piece. Mm. So, for example, the O, I know why you're asking that. So let me just explain that with this letter O, Jo. Can you see the letter O there? Yeah. You've got this half circle and this half circle. That still cuts out in one piece for you. Just your waist comes in two pieces. So okay. if you were going to 3D that up, as I did with my letter E, you would stick one half there and one half there, that's all. Perfect. But they okay. all come as one piece. Wonderful. Less bits to lose, I like to think. Uh, £75 gets you all of that. Uh, you're getting that dotted tape pen included as well, which is fantastic. Uh, now, I want to give you a bit of a recap of some of the fabulous deals that you've seen so far in this show. So here you've got the background rotation stamps, as you can see. Uh, and these are fantastic because you've got, well, five different effects with these, which is amazing, uh, depending on how many layers you pop down. Uh, great to use uh, with your quick dry inks I know a lot of you uh, went for recently £25 if you're in the UK $31 if you're in the US now the Explorer kit very very busy on this as we knew it would be because you're getting the Gemini mini now it's uh, small in size but it's got a lot of power it really does pack a punch and it's great for so many of your smaller die cutting projects also within there you're going to get a die collection you're going to get an embossing folder as well and we're going to give you the free bag Now the bag alone should be $12.99 so you've got a great deal here on this one you're saving 30 percent 35 pounds or 50 dollars is your price Crafter's Inspiration is this one uh, here. This was brand new. It only launched on Thursday. So you can be, uh, you'll be amongst the first people to get your crafty paws on this. This particular configuration is coming with the birthday party stamp and die, which is wonderful for making projects with your pictures and car, uh, your pictures and photos with. If you want it now, you can't wait a few days for it to be dispatched out to you. Then if you go for the magazine on its own, we can furnish you for the first time with the digital version. So you're able to get uh, something that you can watch on your iPad, you could see it on your phone, you could even uh, see it on your computer too. And also don't forget all of the sort of hardware as I call it. So all those bonus bits that we always include with the magazine, you'll still get them. We'll just send them to you separately in the post, which is fantastic. I mean, you could be reading that this evening with a cup of tea and a nice slice of cake. Um, want to come back though to the out of this world deal and it is an out of this world deal because we are looking at the gorgeous uh, double-sided Centura pearl. Centura is so gorgeous because it um, just gives you cards just such a touch of luxury especially in these colorways to have it in the white and the ivory is absolutely beautiful so you can see uh, that there that is your uh, white now the ivory as well you're getting 40 sheets of each of these uh, by the way and you've got the ivory there now we don't bring you the double-sided centura pole anywhere near as much as we want to there's hundreds of units of this not thousands so it's not going to be something we're going to keep on the website for ages and ages it will sell out very quickly so if you want it you've been waiting for it to come back in stock as i know so many of you have now is definitely the time to snap it up and pop it into your basket 15 pounds or 22 dollars uh, leanne's pick of the show uh, was of course it still is of course uh, the stamping platform and the magazine base now the magnetic base is fairly new addition great to be able to get them together 24.99 gets you both of those uh, which is fantastic or 28 dollars now i know thousands of you already own the stamping platform so for those of you uh, you want to go for the magnetic base then you can the magnetic base is on its own 13 pounds 50 or $13.50 if you want to go for that you've got a fantastic saving uh, on that now, Leanne's going to show us something, I believe. Was it on last night's show, uh, Leanne? Are you giving yourself a manicure over there? I, I was, yeah. <laughs> She's cutting her nails. Good to know that you can use those fabulous scissors for cutting your nails as well. <laughs> Nothing to see here, trimming <laughs> me nail. Um, I do, I use them for everything. Honestly, they're fabulous. These, um, that is the... Get your teeth in, Leanne. 
These stamps that I'm going to show you now are the ones that we had on last night. They're our fabulous layering stamps. And if you were looking at those and thinking, oh, do you know what? I've tried with layering stamps before and sometimes I just don't get it right. And it takes me three or four goes and sometimes it doesn't get in the right place. And I get that shadow. It doesn't look like they show me on the telly and I'm not doing it anymore. If you've been that person and you've sounded like that, because I've sounded like that in the past, once you get your platform your stamping platform and your magnetic base you will never hear yourself utter those words again because what you've got with our platform and thousands of you've already got this but let me just explain with our platform you've got this fabulous big clear acrylic stamping block for want of a better word with centimeters and inches all around the outside a grid for positioning and your crosshairs for centering in the in the middle there You've also got your little sprung legs that we've got here, um, which give you that fabulous bounce and position for when you're stamping. That's the top. Here now, we've got the addition of our magnetic base, which is the mirror image of the top when we put that in place. So you can see the grid is mirrored again for your perfect positioning. So you've got a full magnetic base with a mirrored grid and then you've got these little wells here which your feet from your platform sit into perfectly for relocation and precision perfect when you're stamping you'll see in a second and then you've also got your four little magnets which keep it in place this is going to change and revolutionize your life for precision stamping forever more i promise you the reason i've never wanted to do a hinge system um, is because with hinge systems for me they are limiting in terms of the thickness of material that you can put into a hinge system because when you get so far the thickness of the material stops the hinge coming down you don't get that perfect stamp and you still do get missing bits and shadowing so i wanted something that was definitely always going to work regardless of the thickness of the material i'm stamping onto so that's what our magnetic platform and um, magnetic base and stamping platform are for let me show you how they work so i'm going to start i'm going to use this fabulous range of layering stamps to make a beautiful three-tier sponge affair Oh my word, I need this in my life more than I need chocolate. <laughs> Just saying, oh gin. Um, but anyway, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Now, first things first, we're going to um, put it onto the bottom of the platform and we're going to use the unique positioning system that we've got. So you'll see we've included on each of these layers for you the numbers, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. That is the layer five down here. That is the order that you're going to stamp it in to get all of your stamps and all of your positioning in the perfect place so we start with layer one and always put your stamps back onto the carrier sheet on the correct layer don't ever throw that away that means that you're going to get the perfect positioning every time in the in the right order then what we've done is include on these stamps you can see here this right angle which allows you to choose where you put it to always get it back in the right place what i like to do is just choose one of my crosshairs and always put it there and as long as I get this in the same place every time with my layers I can be confident 100% confident that every one of my layers of stamps is going to go down as it should so the first layer I'm going to do because it's a sponge we're going to do with sandstorm and we're using our quick dry ink pads so if you've got this when you've got your oh see what I've done I've done the, I've, I've stuck it to the top Joe Oh, Leanne. Oh, come on. You can't get the demonstrators these days. <laughs> because I was talking. I've turned it over again. And look, I'm putting it back. And that's fine because I can just put it in my crosshair. So it's going to be in the perfect place anyway. And then I do lots of light tapping. I've got my first layer of sandstorm down there for my sponge. Is there a difference between pouncing and light tapping? That's what I'm desperate to know. Yes, there is. There's a very big difference. Um, I'm going to sh I'll show you. I'll Ooh. show you the difference. So now I'm going to stamp. So I'm stamping it down and then I'm going to check. Do I like that or would I like to add some more? Well, I think I'd like to add some more actually. So um, I can light, light tapping. So this is a light tap. Okay, just light tapping. Yeah. You see that? I'm not, I'm not going... Oh, so a pounce is more of a splodge, is it? Yes, a pounce more of a... Rather than a tip, 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 tap. Good to know. Yeah. Yep, that's it's that's one that's of those subjective things, isn't it? When you're doing yep. a menu, it says just put two good glugs. Yeah, what is a good glug? Oh, a good glug is, what is a more good, than is a glug that in half my a bottle house. or is it a sprinkle? <laughs> I mean, really. So you see, I've put some more ink on there. Now, if you were trying to do this manually without the positioning system, you'd be like, oh, hang on. Is that, a, is that where it's... Is that is it right? Is it there? Is it, let me head over it. Get over the top of it. Get over the top of it. Get up there. You don't have to worry about that because your legs 
go into the little receptacles that it's been made for, puts that whole thing back in the perfect position and I can stamp another layer over the top. No shadowing, no blurring, just perfect position where I can build up that colour and I can even go pouncing backwards and forwards several times. I don't get any movement or any shadow at all, I just get lovely solid colour. That's why this platform is the best thing for precision for you when you're crafting at home. Now layer two is going to be my, um, that looks like the jam in my cake. Oh, I think that might be, so I think we're going to have uh, do you know, uh, strawberry. Do you know, <laughs> that wasn't the question. Yeah. Do you know how Bob Marley likes his donuts? With jam in. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, with jam in. <laughs> Producer Laura's oh. like, wow, is that, are we really going there? <laughs> with jam with jam. How do you ask? You. How does an elephant ask for a donut? Ooh. Can I have a donut, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! Brilliant. I don't know why I find that one so oh, funny. My word, Never that ages. Is, that is very good, actually, Joe. <laughs> so now you see, I've got my, I've got my jam in. Um, and it needs to get in the right place in between my sponge layers. So because I put my crosshair exactly where I had my crosshair for the previous layer, now when I go down with my jam, look, in the perfect position all the way. And if I want to add more jam in, I can go back and back and back and keep pouncing and build up the depth of that colour. I can even put some more ink on if I want to turn it round and pop my legs back into the little places that were meant for it and then just push it down and I don't need to worry about it and look I've built up the intensity of my jam there it really honestly Joe, just takes all of the effort and the worry out of your stamping and just makes it really easy and effortless I'm going to put some texture on my sponge now oh. so I'm just going back with my little right uh, like little right angle into that corner of that crosshair gets that into the perfect place go with my darker brown for my sponge texture light tapping and then because my legs are in the right place just takes the location issue away for me push that down look at this look at it building up in front of your eyes can you even begin to believe how easy and fantastic this is I mean, it truly is amazing. I'm now going to put some texture on my fruit, on my strawberries. It's strawberries on this cake, darling. Um, so I'm going to put some texture on my fruit. So I'm going, look, I'm going to putting my little um, rectangle from the stamp in that corner again. And then I'm going to get my fruit texture, uh, which I'm going to go with Bordeaux this time. So a light tapping again. And then again, I don't have to worry about trying to angle it, trying to worry about getting it in the same place. My stamping platform with the magnetic base and my um, top here just works an absolute dream. It really does. And I've got my last little bit here, my green to show you. And then I've got one other quick thing I want to show you and I'll be quiet, I promise. <laughs> Um, because oh, I'm, not, I'm on a to... roll. It's just well, because I to... love this platform. We've platform got to get so ourselves out of this studio bang on time tonight because uh, Sarah is coming up. at So it's six o'clock here, almost in the UK. Uh, and Sarah's going to be up at 2 p.m. Eastern time on HSN. So you want to make sure that you join her for that. So you've got, well, what could you do in an hour? You could either have a sit down, have a cup of tea and read the paper. You could go out for a run. Uh, you could download Crafters Inspiration, that's definitely a great shout. Uh, that would definitely fill an hour. You could what, may, watch maybe your so soap operas. Do you have soap operas in the US? That's what I was thinking about the other day. What soap operas do you have? I think they're more like sitcoms, aren't they? Are like they? Like Frasier and, um, you know, like Frasier and Friends, Friends. Friends, You know, yeah. that kind of thing. I think now, both of those are finished now, aren't they? Yeah, I think, are they? Oh, well, things like that. <laughs> now, if you want to precision place a sentiment, I must just show you this. So look how fabulous I've got my cake. And remember, this set comes with the dies that will cut out, I'll just show you there, that will cut out the cake perfectly for you as well. Look how I've built mine up. I mean, just build it up with the lace. It looks fantastic, doesn't it, Joe? Now, here I want to put happy birthday just above it. So look what I'm able to do. Line up where I want my stamp just above it, happy birthday. Take my platform pick it up, ink it, happy birthday, pop the platform back, stamp it in the perfect position. 
Beautiful. So that is why your platform will revolutionise your stamping because it's precise every single time. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be frustrated and you don't have to waste loads of stuff. And you don't have to think that you're not a good stamper because this makes you into an exceptional stamper. Absolutely. Looks good enough to eat that uh, that project there, Leanne. Uh, big, big thanks uh, to Leanne. Leanne, it was a pleasure to spend the day, uh, oh, well, the afternoon uh, with afternoon. you today. He's so posh, isn't he, Algie? Oh, I'm really the not afternoon. posh. We really spend the not afternoon posh. together. Absolutely. It's afternoon. Job. I'm trying to think of something I do that's not posh and I can't think of anything. Maybe I am <laughs> posh. Who knows? Of course you're uh, posh. <laughs> uh, I want to give you one last reminder of all of the fantastic products that you've seen uh, in the show today. It has been very, very busy. Just quick whistle stop tour for you. Remember the rotating stamps going to work perfectly with that stamping platform that you've just seen. Loads of different options here uh, about how you layer these up and the kind of effects that they give you. £25 in the UK, $31 if you're going for these in the US. Now, the Out of This World deal, you've got that wonderful double-sided Centura. I know this will sell out. Uh, the ivory there, 40 sheets. You've also got uh, the fresh white, 40 sheets of that as well. We really can, we really struggle to keep this in stock. So I'm surprised that not only A, we've got it for you, but also we've got it at 30, over 35% off. The Explorer deal, the Gemini Mini. Just going through the comments still, loads of you commenting how much you love your Gemini Mini. Uh, a lot of you commenting as well how you use it so much more than you thought you were going to it is a mighty little machine 35 pounds or 50 dollars gets you the machine the carry bag the embossing folder and the st uh, and the dies as well uh, and don't forget about those stencils they're going to be coming your way here in the uk on the 16th of april on creating craft so make sure uh, you tune in for those shows uh, and grab that it's been a fabulous uh, day here with you make sure you go back and watch our softer side show from this morning uh, we are going to get out of here because sarah's going to be on a h on a hsn a hsn HSN, I don't know where the A came from, uh, in an hour. So we need to get out of here for that. Uh, don't forget, uh, there's a buy one, get one free Christmas special coming up tomorrow morning, myself and Debbie. Then there's Creative Cravings tomorrow night, Cartload uh, times two on Thursday, and Colour Me Happy coming your way on Friday. Massive thanks again to Leanne. Uh, I'll see you. When will we see you again, Leanne? Um, you'll see me early next week. I think it might be Monday again, Joe, but I said it's a couple of times next week. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Wonderful. Also, oh, everybody who's watching live, I'll be doing another live on Sunday. Oh, lovely. Make sure you tune in for that. Uh, we're going to get tidied up and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Uh, if you are in the US, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you go watch Sarah. If you're in the UK, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see you back here again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>